Hey everybody, today we're going to play a Foglet deck. Foglet decks are based on spawning as many Foglets as you can with Necker Warriors. And I think I'm going to change the formula a little bit so that I have more Necker Warriors. I decided to have Mithral in here because I like Mithral. Uh, he works really well with Azure's Double Cross, especially when the patch hits and he's gone up to 8 strength. We also have some Thunderbolt Potions, which go really well with the Foglets. You just keep buffing them up. Uh, there are other things we can try in here. I'm still messing around with the cards. I think I can take out the White Frost and put in a Commander's Horn. That's always good. So you put in as many Foglets as you can on the board. You buff them up with Commander's Horn or Thunderbolt Potions, preferably Thunderbolt Potions if you're... If your Thunderbolt potions aren't working out, or if your Foglets aren't working out because your opponent keeps clearing the weather, then you have to deal with the melee row, which they're going to have a lot more trouble dealing with. Uh, especially since they're going to have to throw so much control at it that they're going to end up not having a lot of stuff to deal with the Foglets. There's a lot of setup in this deck, but that should be fine. We have Ragnarok because, you know, Ragnarok's amazing. And, of course, we have Premium Dagon, because why not? Yeah. The Azure's Double Cross will either get me Operator or Nithral. We have some Adrenaline Rushes to keep the Nithrals on the board. I'm thinking of pulling out Emerald Rift, I think. And I'm going to put in a Caretaker. There's a reason for this. Not, it's not super complicated. I might want to take out the Nithril I give them with Caretaker. That's pretty much the only reason. Imlareth is still good. It's just that as a removal option, especially if you play out Weather on the row and then you delete the row. But I'm going to play around with Caretaker this time. I might switch out back to Imlareth afterwards. So without further ado, we're going to start the match. I might, you know... We only have a few weather options, but we don't need too many. So we're going to take this into casual. I might rename it afterwards. One of the things I'm worried about is that Foglets, um, since they're changing Thunderbolt Potion, the Foglet archetype might go away. And Necker Warriors is not probably going to have change the way it's played, since uh, you can no longer breed the Neckers. Now, using Necker Warrior on Neckers is still not bad, in that if they remove one of your Neckers, you still have Neckers in the, you know, in your deck, and then you can consume your Neckers to, you know, pile on stacks. You can still do that, it's just not as ridiculous as it was when you could breed them, and then you just had a bunch of points going on to the next round. You just push them to the nth level, and then they just had no way of dealing with your uh, board come round uh, three. Okay, what do we got here? Thinne? Oh, we have to push out the Wild Hunt Rider, of course. Okay, let's see. Can we get an Operator in this biz? It's not like it's a problem if we don't. We push out... Uh, we push out the Wild Hunt Warrior. Aromancy will be good. Doesn't get much better than that, actually. So we'll start off with a Nithral. I wonder how long you lost. Peace with humans, I buy mm. thus. Are we up against a? Uh... Did I scare you? I need, ooh, I should have played the Wild Hunt Rider. My bad. He's going to be able to get value out of that. Uh, that could be something annoying. Let's just not play any... Let's not play anything that could uh, be a spell. 
Six million watt. <laughs> the dragoon. Okay, um, let's play this real quick. I'll play the uh, Wild Hunt Rider afterwards. Now that I know that this is probably a Shiru or an Aida. Uh, well, now that could be a. Yeah. None shall tread on us! Alright. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. If your move's 12 and adds 5, you could win. He might pass now and he'll get 2 card advantage. Which will be fine. If that's a... Um... Now there are bad scenarios here as well. Let's see what card he uh, put face down. It was Ida. We didn't want to deal with Ida, so we're happy. So my opponent's going to pick a card, any card. Uh huh. Okay. There are cards that I can steal from his graveyard. Don't make me love. Okay. So first is first. We're going to steal Ida. Why Ida, you might ask? Well, it screws over his, uh, his ability to do a bunch of things. Oh, we don't want him doing a few obnoxious stuff, so... Why have you summoned me? You can't, uh, it has to be an unrevealed not card, I believe, for it to work. Everything all right? Vryad! I wonder why he put it there. Surprises me. I don't really know what kind of. I know I'm playing against a. Death awaits us all. Uh, you can play that again. Vryad! Hang on. Uh, were these after? Yeah, that was after Operator. So that's fine. Okay, he's played two Clear Weathers, at least. Or three First Lights, actually. You'll be fine. Right. Now we just pass. Why? He's played three of his gold cards. Yes, he has a card advantage over us, but... Uh, he no longer has access to clear weather. I mean... Like, once we play that, we're, he's pretty much done for. I could have played the Wild Hunt Rider as well, but I didn't. Man. He doesn't have Shiru. He doesn't have Ida. Yeah. We want to play... Our weather last 
as we last as possible. Okay. Don't worry about me. I wonder what he's gonna play last. A storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Alright, or maybe? Okay. And then we just play Penetrable Fog and we get a bunch of things under the board. There's absolutely nothing he can do with his leader ability, and that's why we pass. Like, he could replay something, but it wouldn't do anything. If he replays his uh, Milana, he, yes, he does one damage, but he loses the buffs he has on it. There will be no negotiation. My opponent play. One of the like I wasn't sure what I, which ambush cards I was up against in the beginning that caused me to be a little inefficient. All right, so we win two rounds. I had a practice game before this. Um, I lost against a brand new player, fair and square, <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention. And you know you always need a practice game before you start playing, or else you're not gonna really grasp what you're doing. I think Foglets are a little bit better off now uh, since you're, there aren't as many first lights as there used to be. The Skellige players are all playing armor smiths instead. And Manticore, while Manticore Venom will become more popular, it won't be able to clear all the Foglets in the future. Not even though that, not that clearing the Foglets matters. Close ranks! Oh, ah, Surugi. I love playing against Full Test. Not because Full Test is bad or anything, but because... Uh, push that out. Uh, I got Nithral. Do I have, yeah, and I have Azur's Double Cross. I have a great hand. It's hard to get better than this. I'll push out that. Okay. Since I don't have anything I'm worried about getting. So the first thing is first is I'm going to pull out the uh yeah i'm gonna pull out my good old good old good old operator with azure's double cross idle chat i'm not interested eh. <laughs> Your weather. Interesting. Well, it's time. That counts as a buff, by the way. The buff goes away from this, but it's fine. I want him to play the myth roll. I have an answer to his Azure Thunder in the form of. So he's gonna copy that. Crush those vermin! Yeah. Blood of the head. He might uh, promote these. We have to uh, play the Cathanthir as soon as possible then. Let's show him what real art is. That's fine as well. Buffing my guys some more. So we're going to now play this. Okay. We can now put an adrenaline rush on Sarah, which is fine. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Yes. 
Now the card we're going to keep is Mithral with our passive. Yes, we lose some card advantage doing this, but it's fine. We, uh, yeah. Ooh, we got another, um, <laughs> man. I expect my opponent to have a Scorch. Okay, my opponent has given up and just wants to get the uh, scraps. I guess this is a better way than just giving up all the way, all completely. Okay, let's open our pack that we get for doing this. Call it a day. Ahoy, hoy, human friend! Ooh, we make smash smash! We make smash smash, my friend. Ooh, 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 ooh. And... Oh, well, nothing special today, but I think I have enough now ooh. cards, collection, to get a card that I've been waiting to craft for a while. You guys be like, why haven't you crafted this card yet? I was going to craft it eventually. Be patient. Need to get into the silvers. It's going to be around three strain. King of beggars. There we go. Craft. A button. Boop. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>